Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. All right, let's do this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another edition of the Upper Farmer Cigar. But you know what? We're going to call this Deck Garage Talks because I'm outside. It's during the day. It's kind of purdy out. Um, I have some projects going in the garage I gotta keep an eye on, so I'm in the garage instead of on the deck. But the garage doors are open, the back door is open. We're having a good time with it. So what are we smoking what we drink tonight before we get on to the episode? New cigar here. Look at that. The Black Dahlia. Made famous for the murder, the Black Dahlia murders. I don't know if that's what the cigar is going with. I'm assuming it has some other connotation for the Black Dahlia, but a little criminal aspect we're going to talk about tonight doesn't go on uh, uh, inappropriate. It might be kind of appropriate for what we're going to talk about tonight. Very good cigar. Nice draw off this one, actually. And then, homemade... Hard apple cider. Oh, got a good pop to that one. I'm going to stick the rest in the fridge here in that. This one is actually the last one I bottled. So it's going to have a little more treb in it than usual. But as long as you stop pouring in time, look at that. Beautiful crystal clear. A couple of cherries in there from earlier drinks. Still going to be delicious. I bet. Let's give her a try here. Oh yeah, that's what you want a cider nice and dry to taste like. Lots of carbonation, of course. Let's not forget the chocolate pudding bread. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not even nighttime yet. My kids might come and interrupt me. That's okay. Good day for a video. Well, that bread's delicious, the cider's delicious, the cigar is great. Let's press on. Tonight, let's talk about, I don't know if I'm going to call it karma, coincidence. I don't know. What should we call it tonight? I don't know. Went to my 20-year reunion, and I shared a story. May or, not, may or may not be true. May or may not be my story. May or may not have happened in the UP. May or may not have happened in Maryland. Might have been a medic, might have been an EMT. Maybe it didn't even happen at all. There, all my legal bases are covered. Here's how the story goes. So, a uh, person went to EMS, undescript, non-licensed bearing, shall we say. Uh, wow, I don't have a lot of time to record on this. Let's just say they became licensed, and next thing you know... They get called out. NVA, one vehicle. Car swerved into the ditch, hit a tree. The EMT shows up on scene with the medic. Or maybe he was the medic. Who knows? I don't. I wasn't there, of course. Rendering care. Looks deep into the guy's face. Asks him his name. Or the girl. Who knows? And it dawns on this person... That whoever was the driver of this vehicle, whoever owns this vehicle, was the absolute bully. Horrible, awful person bullied this person from, who knows, elementary, middle school, high school, beyond. Treated them like absolute shit. Made them wish they never went to school. Maybe even had them go to their one of the deepest, darkest moments in their life. That EMT or paramedic or whoever it is does everything they can to make sure this person's going to live because that's their job. That's what they do. Fire shows up. Need anything from us? <clears throat> that person looks the fire chief square in the eyes and said, pop them, chalk them, block them, and chop them. Code for put blocks underneath the wheels, pop all the wheels, cut all the doors off, and cut the frame in half. Chief gives him a sideways look, looking at the damage, but 
medic, EMT, or whoever person showed up there in charge. Nods his head. Okay. Next thing you know, the car is cut in half. It's up on blocks. The wheels have been popped. Doors have been ripped off. Super easy to extract this person out of this vehicle. Take the person to the hospital. Turns out they're going to live. Shocker to all, of course. That person, EMT, medic, or other, is pulled aside by the fire chief. Looks him in the eye, says, what the hell was that? With his newfound stoic grin that he gained through that EMT or medic class or whatever he took, now he's a bit of a badass. Matured. Become more of the alpha male or female. Whatever it was. Looks the fire chief in the eye and says, That man made my life shit. I was a bully. Elementary, middle school, high school. You take your pick. Maybe all three. Who knows? So next thing you know, chief nods in response. All right. Enough said. And that person walks away. The fire chief walks away. And both of them walk away with a smile. There's a story for you. True, false, who knows? Not me, not you. Maybe it's completely true. Maybe it's mine. Maybe it's someone else's. But I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here in my garage, enjoy my hard cider, enjoy my chocolate bread, and enjoy my Black Dahlia. Who knows, folks? This could be all a bunch of hooky, a bunch of false trees, a bunch of stories I've heard from someone else, or maybe something else. Happy reunion. Talk to you guys later. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.